Consider a planet moving around the sun. Let sun be located at the center of a at the center, and a planet is moving in a circular orbit around the sun. Let's take that planet to be P. P. Then the different forces acting on the planet are one is the gravitational force of attraction by the sun on the planet that is Fg and the centripetal force or centrifugal force acting from the center to the planet Fc. There is always a centripetal force directing towards the center and as a result as a reaction there is centrifugal force to the planet from the center. So these are the two forces acting on the planet. For the equilibrium of the planet or in order for the planet to maintain in this circular path that is in this path if it has to move in this circular path these two forces must be equal if it is not equal the planet won't move in this circular path so we have fc that is centrifugal force is equal to the gravitational force fg but you know if m is the mass of the planet m is the mass of the planet and r r is the radius of the circle or r is the distance of the planet from the sun r uh, then r equal to radius then we have uh, also the velocity there is a velocity of every time in the linear direction or tangential to the path let's call that as v then we have centrifugal force is equal to mv square divided by r that is equal to we have gravitational force is equal to g mass of the sun here it is mass of the m is the mass of the sun mass of the sun g and m g m m by that is mass of the planet times r square so you can cancel this r and this r in here one of the r's therefore m v square also this m implies v square is equal to g m divided by r clear let's call that equation number one but you know velocity v is equal to the perimeter of the circle that is 2 pi r divided by the time taken you know in order to complete one, one full circle we call that time as time period t equal to time period time period so velocity will be the perimeter divided by time period because the total time to cover one complete circle is called the time period so here you can substitute the value you can plug in the value of velocity in the first equation that is 2 pi r by t whole square is equal to whole square is equal to g m divided by r this is equal to 4 pi square r square by t square is equal to g m divided by r. You can rearrange this equation that is t square is equal to square is equal to you can write this in g m to the left that is 4 pi square by gm r square into r equal to r cube clear you can rearrange that you only have to write t square on one side you know the, the this factor 4 pi square and gm all are constants so t square is equal to a constant k times r cube where k is equal to 4 pi square divided by gm which means t square proportional to r cube and this and this this 
equation or this term is called the Kepler's third law of planetary motion which means the square of the time period is proportional to cube of the uh, distance between the planet and the sun or simply say radius.